For Mashable, I'm Jonah Javad. On the field or on the court, when an athlete messes up, it means a penalty or a foul. But when the mistake is online or over the phone, athletes can expect the wrath of the internet. So let's revisit the best, or worst, foul tweets. First, WNBA player Cappy Pondexter, trying to offer a holy explanation for the Japanese tsunami. She tweeted, what if God was tired of the way they treated their own people in their own country? I don't know guys, he makes no mistakes. And you just never know. They did Pearl Harbor, so you can't expect anything less. She later apologized for both, saying she didn't mean to hurt anyone. To the NFL, wide receiver Chad Ochocinco waves goodbye to a cool 25,000 after breaking NFL rules and tweeting during a preseason game. But that didn't stop him from tweeting about the fine. Dear NFL, I apologize for tweeting during the game, but that was two months of my Bugatti payments you just took from me. I won't do it again. Still in the NFL, Richard Mendenhall's 140 character tweet implying 9-11 was a conspiracy cost him a sponsorship and maybe a few fans. At dkeller23, we'll never know what really happened. I just have a hard time believing a plane could take a skyscraper down demolition style. On to phone follies. First round pick Greg Oden is caught pants down and phone out. His meant to be private photo of himself in the mirror surfaced online a year and a half after it was taken and of course went viral. Odin said he learned a little about social media that week. Somebody gave me a, a, a graph of my Google since uh, it happened from like 5 a.m. to, to 11 a.m. and the thing said, uh, the, the rate said volcanic. In 2009, when Twitter was first making its way into the sports arena, this tweet from Detroit Pistons forward Charlie Villanueva put him on the bench. In the locker room, snuck to post my twit. We're playing the Celtics, tie ball game at the half. Coach wants more toughness, I gotta step up. Next, Texas cornerback Kareem Jackson took a little vacay to the Dominican Republic and brought back some pictures, but they weren't from the beach. They were from a cockfight. Look at all these people that be at these chicken fights. You would think it's a college football game. Lest we forget the comeback king, former Jets quarterback Brett Favre. Favre and phones don't mix, especially after he was accused of sexually harassing Jets reporter Jen Sturger, allegedly sending her pics of his manhood and leaving strange voicemails. So, in some garbage can, huh? Well, that's what you think I think of you. Hmm. All right, well, I'm still trying. UCLA b-ball player Joshua Smith continues the foul tweets. After losing against Loyola Marymount, the center tweeted, Just lost to some straight bums, lol. Smith is not one to hold anything back. He has since apologized, recognizing he was outplayed. He told his followers to stop making assumptions. Next, Orlando Magic's Gilbert Arenas was playing a different game the night he tweeted comments about his blind date. Apparently the date wasn't going so well. Got hooked up on a blind date, and I guess she was blonde when she picked out this outfit. This dragon can eat. And I thought she had a bunch of stretch marks, but it was just her shirt. Looking like Simba. And last, Kansas City Chiefs former, emphasis on former, running back Larry Johnson was suspended, fined, and then let go after a series of mistweets, one of which contained a homophobic slur. Make me regret it, LMAO. You don't stop my check, LMAO. So tweet away. So let this be a reminder. Tweet it, text it, or say it right the first time, or your lack of better judgment might make the next video mashup. For Mashable, I'm Jonah Javad.